Today on Pinbusters, we're making a melted crayon pumpkin. It's fall and it's almost Halloween time and it's time to decorate pumpkins. I got an email from Jeff out in Cincinnati who'd like us to make a melted crayon pumpkin using just regular crayons, a little bit of glue, and a blow dryer. Let's see if it works. We purchased this heirloom pumpkin that is white primarily and has a little bit of green and yellow in it, but you could use any kind of pumpkin, an orange one, a red one, a yellow one, whatever you want to use. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your crayon and you're going to take off the paper. You don't need the entire crayon. I guess it just kind of depends on how big your pumpkin is. Ours is a smaller one, so we're just going to use half the crayon for now. So I'm going to take off the paper. Um, I'm going to choose several colors and then I'll be right back. It's gonna take a while. I don't have a knife. So I've taken off the paper and I've cut my crayons in half. Oops, there goes one. Um, I chose eight colors. You can choose as many colors as you want, um, but just keep in mind they have to fit on the circumference of the entire pumpkin. So you can do, I have eight, but you can do more if your pumpkin is bigger or less if your pumpkin is smaller. It's up to you. So after you do that, you're gonna actually glue your crayons on just so that they don't slip while you're melting them. Um, I'm just using super glue. You can just use any kind of tacky glue or whatever you have at home. So we're gonna glue them all on. And it's kind of cool to get the crayons into like a groove of the pumpkin so that it melts down. So I'm going to glue all these on and then we'll start melting. All right, we've glued all of our crayons onto our pumpkin and now we have our blow dryer set on hot. And start off low and then um, we'll see if it works. Should have gotten the play school crayons. Is it actually getting on the pumpkin though? <laughs> And here's our pumpkin. Man, that took a lot of arm strength and a, a lot of patience. But we were able to melt all our crayons. And you can see it's, it looks pretty cool. I think it's pin trusted. I would probably add a few more crayons and melt along the sides, maybe mix some of the colors, you know, just whatever your preference is. All right, well, that's all we have for Pinbusters today. If you guys have pins at home you'd like us to try, email us at bust at pinbusterstv.com or leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next time. That was fun. Who wants to make them?